I really love this house because it looks so innocent and cute. You could never guess that I have my evil lair hidden beneath it. <laughs> Yo, how's it going guys? And welcome back to another Redstone Map Showcase here in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this very compact modern house that is filled with tons of cool secrets. This thing uses a lot of redstone to hide all of its goodies out of sight away from your enemies or away from your sneaky friends who try to steal your items. But it's a really cool map, so let's see if we can take one second to absolutely crush that like button. Let's aim for over a thousand likes on this video, and while you guys are down there let's also try to double subscribe and join the notification squad by clicking on that little bell there and that will basically notify you so you could be the first person to see my video when I upload it it's really cool but either way this is our house let's take a quick fly around here as you guys can see it's, it's uh, very small and uh, it's a modern design of course of course okay so yeah that's basically how the house looks my flying skills is not that great as you guys can see but my redstone skills are amazing so let's go ahead and take a look at this house we're gonna enter first and um let's check out this one floor place it basically has a bed on the right hand side a few decorations what looks to be a desk right over there with a few items on the right hand side we have a light there we go, amazing redstone, and then we have a small sort of kitchen area. Now, obviously it doesn't really look like a kitchen, but it does include this really compact industrial furnace, and basically we have our inputs at the front and our output at the back. The fuels, of course, on the left, and the input for our items we want to smelt or cook is going to be in the chest to the right. So, if you guys don't know what an industrial furnace is, even though I explain it tons of times on this channel, I will explain it again for those of you who might be new. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just grab myself some more pork chops and then grab myself some fuel. Now, of course your fuel could be anything from charcoal to coal and then any type of wood item in Minecraft. And then of course any of the meats for your inputs or any of the ores that you want to smelt down. So for a fuel, we just enter some of our coal in there. It's gonna get sucked into a hopper system, go into a bunch of furnaces and sort of evenly distribute that. And basically what an industrial furnace is, is that it utilizes multiple furnaces to spread out your items and cook everything a lot faster and output it in one section. That way it's not like all going into one furnace because that would just be pointless. But either way, we have our fuel inputted there. Let's enter some of our uh, roll pork chops while the system is working and then we should get a result at the back chest. I probably should have been talking after I entered the input, but uh, yeah, let's uh, continue with the house and we'll come back to that in just a second. Okay, so over here we have a lever and this lever is going to do something really cool. Are you guys ready for this? I am a magician, a master at redstone. We're gonna flick that lever and boom, take a look at that. That's actually pretty simple. It just pulls out a pulls a bunch of blocks into the wall, creating this uh, not so good staircase. And then we come down over here into an area where we have a crafting table and a chest filled with diamonds. So we have a secret storage chest, and then we have our crafting table. Then we're gonna come back over here and take a look at this output really quick. So boom, and uh, there's nothing in there. Okay, so never mind. we'll be back in just a second. Okay, so coming over here, we have a button, and basically when you step onto this block, and I hit that button, you're gonna fall down, land on the slide block and then you can walk forward into our underground bunker take a look at this thing we're gonna walk forward there is a space for armory right in front of us then we have a s enchantment space on the right hand side and finally a spot to do all of our brewing and witchcraft things on the left hand side so it's really cool we have like different sections for different uh, of different needs that we have and it's going to be really cool so let's check out the armor area first right at the front and in this room we basically have uh, this little spot over here which basically Basically dispenses loads and loads of our arrows so take a look at that we just click on that and boom it showers us in arrows how amazing is that little creation there so obviously that's going to be like a creative creation and you basically just have like a bunch of redstone sort of just like on a rapid signal dispensing like goody items but on this side we have ourselves a lever and when you flip this lever it will open up a chest over here now this chest is going to be a spot to store some other hidden items you have a full stack of golden apples here let's go ahead and just grab that there you go, boom, pop that into our inventory, and now we're ready to fight anyone. We can go to the end, we can come back, we could go to the nether, go again to the nether, and we will still have 
a lot of golden apples left over. Okay, so at the very end of our uh, armory section, we of course have the actual armor system. It's a basic auto armor equipment station. As you can see, I currently have no armor on my body. I am totally naked. And uh, what I could do is basically um, maybe switch into third person. So you guys can see it's a bit better. So let's go into third person over here first person and then we can go third person from the back there you go and we're gonna walk forward and equip our armor boom check that out it's also gonna drop a sword but since that sword in my hand it really you know just drops it onto the ground so yeah it adds a full set of diamond armor or any item or any set of armor that you put into the actual dispensers in or onto your body and then it also adds in a diamond sword into your hand so you basically just walk into this thing it's going to get you like fully equipped to battle some mobs and like I said go to the nether and to the end so yeah it's really cool now let's go ahead and uh, you know switch back our camera here so you can see things a bit better and then continue on with our glorious adventure at the bottom of this house okay so we're gonna walk down towards the right side and go into our brewing station and this also includes like another area back there so we have a secret secret area. Yes guys, it is Inception. So I always have a really hard time explaining these types of systems because I'm really not that good at making potions in Minecraft. But either way, what we have to do is come on over to this chest over here, let's grab ourselves some water bottles with no effects and then add those into this chest over here, which will then be added into that brewing stand. So let's go ahead and try this out. That is a water bottle with no effect, water bottle with no effect and a final water bottle. And uh, as you guys can see, it has been added into the area behind the glass yet again you can always just add in the items directly into the brewing stand but that's no fun we need this automatic system for those of you wondering and uh yeah now what we, what we need to do is select the ingredients and unlike other brewing stations that i do like and the ones that we make on pc which is like a lot easier just point towards the items that you want and create that potion. This one, you actually need to know a bit about brewing potions. And first things first, you do need to add in some nether warts to create that awkward potion. Otherwise, you won't be able to create pretty much anything. So yeah, once we add in that bit of nether wart, it's going to like queue it up into the system. It's going to create that awkward potion. And then next, I'm gonna hit the blaze powder to create that potion of strength. Now, while that's working, we're gonna um, basically check out the back over here. And the back is going to include just a walkway that uh, sort of highlights all of the different um, or labels all the different chests. That way you can enter all the items in there if you're running low on the particular ingredients. So it's like a refill space. And um, yeah, we're just gonna wait until that thing brews. So what I'm gonna do just to make sure is go all the way across into our enchantment area and then we'll come back and take a look at our output outputted potions. Okay, now on this side we have yet again another chest for storage. So we have a lot of lapis over there as well as bottles of XP. And then on the right hand side we have a button which is going to basically bring up some bookcases in the ground. As you guys can see it makes like, it goes from a very spacious room into a room where you can enchant your diamond sword from 6 to 22 levels. That's actually not bad and I'm pretty sure if you add in some lapis you will uh, increase that. Or does that, is that how that works? I really don't. Uh, know about enchantment that much either. I just usually just get a diamond sword and just kill everything in my path. But either way, we have a lever over here. We can flick that lever to pop out a crafting table, which we could use to, of course, craft our items. That's really cool. Then you hit that button and it gets sent back into the wall. All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and just, you know, add in our diamond sword there and then grab that. It's gonna have smite three with some other little enchantments or just smite three, whatever. And then we're gonna have a glowing sword. So let me just go ahead and grab that glowing sword. Look Look at that, that awesome looking sword is glowing. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. And also what I wanted to say is that the crafting table actually swaps out a block over here. So like uh, bad, I would say, but it's also like notable to just point out that the crafting table itself does swap out. So it's sort of like a hidden crafting table. But either way, I had a brain fart there. Let's go back towards our brewing station and take a look at this thing. Uh, when you're sure that it's done, you just go ahead and hit that button. It's going to output it. The output light's going to flash. And then we could go ahead and enter that chest and uh, check that out. We got a potion of strength. I'm not sure why well, we only got one. I think we have to hit the button like three times. So let's just hit that again. And bam. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have our three potion of strength. And we could drink that up. We could get our enchanted sword and our full set of diamond armor and take out the entire world of Minecraft. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much the bottom section. Well, we have more. Fear not, my friends. Okay, so we're gonna come back over here and um, flick this lever 
and turn on the lighting. Oh my gosh, I'm such a noob. I totally forgot about the lighting. Okay, so yeah, that is the lighting. It's only actually lighting up like the middle section, I believe. But uh, yeah, that's that. Let's go back towards the elevator here, hit that button, and then we're gonna get jumped back up to the top. It's a slide block elevator. It's really cool. You can find a tutorial for this on my channel, but we hit that button and then it pushes out a jab door or a, um, yeah, I guess a jab door, like a hidden door. And that's going to pretty much uh, close up that area. So you could replace that block over there. That way it's like completely hidden, but that's really up to you. Now, what I'm going to do is flick that lever. It's going to reclose that area. And we're going to come outside and take a look at some other cool things. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that when you flick that lever, as you guys can see, it actually blocks up the front door, which is a nice touch. And then when we hit that button again, it sort of opens it back. So yeah, we're going to walk outside and take a look at all the pretty stuff. Okay, so we're on the outside and obviously you guys are wondering, hey, what's under those pretty lights? Well, we have a hallway and it sort of gives it away with the beacons, but we could come over here and hit this button. It's going to open up another secret spot. Then we fall down onto that slime block, walk forward and enter our hallway. So yeah, this is our hallway. It is uh, basically going to be a trap. We're gonna take a look at the trap afterwards, but I'm going to deactivate the trap using a diamond. Yes, guys, diamonds have purpose other than to make swords and armor. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just uh, grab those diamonds right there from our creative menu. Go into our, um, whatchamacallit over here, our dropper, and place down a singular diamond, then hit that button. It's basically a redstone key reader, and the key is going to be a diamond. You could destroy the sign so no one else would know that, and no other item but a diamond works in here, so just keep that in mind if you don't think it's cool enough. Okay, so once it does that, it basically outputs it into the chest, so you can actually get your diamonds back. It doesn't take it from you, because that would be really crazy. It just makes it into a very rare material. That way not everyone can just spam items in and sort of like access the spot. But as you guys can see, the lights turned off, which means our laser detection system is off. No one's gonna know that we're sneaking in and we're totally being Mission Impossible right now. So you're gonna sneak in over there. Boom, there you go. We're a master at, um, you know, infiltration. And then we flick that uh, lever to open up that 30 by 30 slime block door. It's gonna slide that to the right hand side, obviously. And now we could uh, take a look at this chest, which is empty. But uh, if you wanna fill the chest, you just hit that button over there, hit that button over there, hit that button over there, and I'm just hitting random buttons. But basically, either button that you hit, it's going to output some of the items. And there's a full set of diamond armor in there, as well as a diamond sword. So let's just keep hitting the left button. I believe that's the one that works, so let's keep hitting that one. As you guys can see, we have a full set of diamond armor, and of course, we have ourselves uh, that um, diamond sword. Okay, so yeah, it's pretty much that. And we can just reverse this entire thing by walking backwards, then flicking a lever, hitting, and then it activates that three by three slime block door. And we come back over here, we grab ourselves our diamond, and then we go back into our dropper, place the diamond into that dropper, and hit that button. And then it should go ahead and reactivate our system. Once we do that, I'm just going to walk over it and see what deadly surprise it has to offer us. So as you guys can see, turn back, it turns back on, then we could just walk on forward and... Oh, I think it actually just blocks it. How, wait, how is that possible? How, wait, what's going on? How is this working like this? This is actually pretty insane. How am I being blocked by this? And if we're playing on like adventure mode or something, like obviously not breaking through walls, this would be very effective. I have literally no idea how this is working. How is this working? Someone tell me. I really need to know. Someone make a video on this and tweet at me because I am just losing my mind right now. That That, that is just impossible. Okay, so I believe it has something to do with the carpet. Let's just break that. Is there like a fence beneath that? Okay, so there's a, there's a fence there. Okay, let's, um, let's go back into this thing, place another diamond. And hit that button and it should um it should move that away from here oh <gasps> no way it just opens it up and then we can walk through that is a genius idea no freaking way that is that's actually really really cool man i really love that okay so my mind has been blown that's like the simplest creation i've seen that just works so effectively. I need to do like a tutorial on that since I just figured it out. Okay, so um, yeah, what we're gonna do is uh, just hit that button again because I totally failed. And then come back over there, hit that button, and just close up that area. There we go. And there's actually a little bit more left. On this side, we have a lever. This is going to open up a very similar spot as you guys seen before, another like slime bounce thingy. And we come down over here, and this actually is going to be a space for all of our farms. So we have a carrot farm over here, a potato, a wheat farm as well as we have a melon farm and a chicken farm so basically everything that we need is down here if you guys don't know how melon farms work 
we basically just have a system where when a melon grows it activates a redstone signal and then destroys the blocks it's like a you know like the melon grows and because the melons has grown it destroys the melon so it's like a really sad circle of life going on but uh yeah what i need to do is um grab myself a melon there you go and since a piston breaks melon as you guys can see it's going to break it and then it's going to fall into that hopper and also the hoppers beneath the water so yeah that's uh, really cool it is not like totally effective because as you guys can see sometimes it just falls into the block itself like onto the grass block and doesn't get pushed into the hopper and sort of like messes up the system but since the melons are sort of infinite it really doesn't matter and it gives us like a large amount of melon output and um i clicked on the hopper but if i click on that chest as you guys can see we have three stacks of melons just there growing automatically so that's a lot of food and also we have this button over here which is going to harvest all of our items from both of our farms as you guys can see it's going to push all of the items into the hoppers and into the chest and it will oh gosh we need to break this thing there you go just break that oh no that's the wrong thing stop choosing weapons and choose a block as you guys can see oh no i broke the sign it's gonna flood the place but yeah it's gonna fill that chest with our seeds and all of the items that we need and all of the food and then we hit that button again to close it and um you know replant all of the things down there so anyways guys that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video go ahead and tell me what you thought of the map in the comment section down below and while you're down there be sure to click on that subscribe button to see more of my cool maps as well as don't forget to click on that little bell there and if you guys don't know what that does it basically sends a notification to your computer or to your phone to tell you when I posted a video. So you don't even need to check YouTube, it just sends it to your phone. And that's really cool because you'll be one of the first people to see the video and be on the notification squad. So it's really cool to be on the notification squad. I try to be first because, you know, when I upload the video, I try to be first. But uh, if I see you guys on, um, you know, commenting first and stuff, I'll really, you know, appreciate that. But either way, this was Twist and I'll see you guys next time.